Hey guys, what's up? I suck the trend here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next war recap video. And this one was against Assassin's Clove. Uh, a little bit disappointing. We thought it was going to be a closer war when we got matched up. Uh, they are a level 10 clan. And uh, they got some three stars up there, but those were kind of on our low level Town Hall 10s. Me and Cotton Eye Joe. So they kind of used their uh, big Town Hall 10s to take care of those bases. And they struggled up top though on our top bases and kind of scattered three stars on our nines. So not that close of a war. We did a great job though. We got the 11s two starred and then everything uh, from the top town hall 10 and below three starred. So, or actually we did have a 99% on uh, number 20. So it, I mean, it happens and uh, a lot of close attacks. Almost got the three star there. But uh, anyway, that's, that's the war. We're gonna take a look at a few attacks from it and uh, have some Town Hall 11, Town Hall 10, and Town Hall 9 action. Don't have any Town Hall 8s, unfortunately, but as always, when we do have them for arranged wars and stuff, I will show them. Uh, but that's just kind of the situation we're in right now. This one is a fresh hit by uh, Hoa Hong Zan. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, so sorry about that, but it was a great attack nonetheless, and uh, almost a three-star, actually. Th this base is, I believe, almost max for Town Hall 11. There are a few defenses in the Grand Warden which aren't quite maxed out, but for the most part uh, everything's maxed out and you can see uh, I mean the layout's not great, but it's not, you know, an, a weird layout anyway. I mean it's just kind of a big open compartment which you see sometimes and uh, what uh, this guy's coming in uh, in doing is he's bringing a queen walk. Luckily, a few Teslas pop. Gets great value there. The queen just shoots down those Teslas. Takes out a few giant bomb locations, which can hurt the Valks. And he does have hogs in the CC, which he wants to avoid uh, from hitting those giant bombs. But look at these haste spells. Just dropping them in here has five of them. And uh, really just, I mean, one rage for the town hall. But the Valks do so much damage that they just completely swept through this entire core of the base has that back end heal once both the infernos are down and really everything was just gone like once those haste were down the valks just went through the base at a ridiculous speed uh, here come the hogs he could have dropped them up top i'm not sure which would have been better because you'll see here um i guess it was probably better at the bottom but uh, the hogs make their way through take out the bottom of the base along with the king and uh, the queen did go down but the healers are on the grand warden Everything's going okay. There's just that little cluster of defenses up top. And I think a few healers do peel off onto the hogs, but there's just not enough left. All that max point defense in the wizard tower is too much for the hogs to handle. And they hit a spring trap at the end. Uh, but the warden was actually still up. Still has a few Valks, the king, all those barbarians that he summoned. And we'll go ahead and go uh, times four because things move around. And he doesn't quite get it, but was so close, I think... Even if there was another Town Hall 11 in our clan, they might have been able to tweak the plan and get the 3-star, assuming they had um, max troops. Because this is only a level 16 warden, too. And uh, the level 20 ability makes a, a difference, especially when we're talking the Eternal Tomb that makes these troops immortal. Uh, because that's important. And uh, right here runs out of time. But the Grand Warden was already doing work on those defenses. So like I said, very close. Awesome attack. Good job. Uh, keep it up. Town Hall 11 might be a three-star game. Who knows? We'll see how it develops with the new Valks and everything. Uh, let's take a look at Cotton Eye Joe. Bring in a great attack against a base that we see kind of, you know, various versions of this. But, I mean, the, the thing's the same. It has these little compartments on the outside. Then kind of a big ring of trash. And then that core with the three Expos, the two Infernos, and probably the Teslas in there as well. So a common base, but makes it look easy here. I guess the easy C sealer, going to uh, drag that over to where his queen is. He went ahead and wall breakered her into the base. And luckily the Inferno Tower can't reach her. So she can step all the way through that compartment and not worry about being targeted by the Inferno Tower. Pops the ability, takes out the dragon. She'll step forward and start taking out some more defenses. She's also creating part of the funnel for his Valks. So on a base like this, you got to make sure that you're funneling your Valks into the core to get those Infernos. So right there, the queen steps up. She's going to get some of this trash cleared out. Those elixir uh, storages, that's going to be a huge help in uh, funneling the Valks. But here comes a golem, the king, and then that big group of Valks. They're going to make their way through. Has the jump uh, to let them into the core, I believe, if he places that right. 
and lets them beat through the wall, which is fine. The queen's right there to um, entice them to beat through the wall. Already starting with the hogs, I love that. I think that's important at Town Hall 10. Start with the hogs early. Let them help reinforce your kill squad. Uh, the freeze is perfect. It protects the hogs, protects the Valks, and there's just too much for the Infernos. They can't handle all of it. The hogs are making their way through. Went ahead and reinforced up top with a few more. Pops the king's ability. And the thing at Town Hall 10 is the hogs are different than at Town Hall 9. They're not doing the same role. They're kind of more of a... You're dropping them along with your kill squad usually. And uh, everything is kind of moving forward at once. You're trying to overwhelm the base with hogs, with valks. Trying to get great value for your spells. If you can have a rage or a heal that covers both your hogs and your valks. That's great value there. And then your hogs don't need to be left over. Like at Town Hall 9, typically if you don't have hogs left over, uh, you are you know, you might get the 3-star just by your kill squad if it's still up. But you want to have hogs left over at Town Hall 9. At Town Hall 10, not as necessary. If you have the heroes, a few Valks left over, you can get the job done. You're going to be bringing bigger kill squads anyway. So the hogs play less of a role. They're more of a supporting troop to take out a strategic area of the base. So hope that makes sense. Awesome attack to Cotton Eye Joe. Let's take a look at a few Town Hall 9s, uh, starting with Jon Snow on number 5. Bringing a nice attack using a few of the Valks and uh, a Queen Walk at the beginning. A lot of times we see this uh, Queen compartment where it's really just three spaces, then the wall. So these Queens are pretty exposed and right here you can see he goes ahead, drops down his Queen. And even with one point defense on her, uh, the poison spell works great. Uh, it kind of helps slow down the defensive queen. Doesn't have to use rage, doesn't have to use the ability. Uh, great value for those minions, by the way, taking out that cannon right there. And uh, you can see right here the cannon goes down before it does much to the queen. So worked out really nicely. Didn't have to waste a rage or the ability. So great value there. And uh, if you see the queen that exposed, a queen walk at the beginning can take her out. Then you can let your queen move in uh, like Jon Snow does here. Enter the base, get more value, take out double giant bomb spots because there's uh, some suspicious areas inside that core. Uh, great placement on the rage. You want that queen to step up into it. So drops it kind of far up. So uh, his as his healers and, and queen move forward, they're still going to be in it. At least the healers will. Uh, the poison spells are great, for, or that one poison at least, uh, for the king and the CC troops. The queen does get a little bit overwhelmed here, but she shoots down those balloons with her ability. So it goes ahead and pops that, but no big deal. Uh, good use of it there, very efficient. And she's going to be healed right back up as she keeps moving, taking out more defenses. Here, come the, uh, go here comes the golem the and the uh, valks. He does bring the wall breakers in the CC, which I've been seeing more often. I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest, because I like the ability to drop these wall breakers one by one. Make sure they're going to the right wall, you know, have test wall breakers. But if you're confident, you can bring some max wall breakers in your CC, especially if you don't feel like you need the extra giant or wizard or whatever else you would be bringing. Because at, you know, at Town Hall 9, you have the 24 troop space filled by three Valks. Then you have six troop space uh, left with for whatever you want to bring. So wall breakers can work. They worked out nicely there to open up that wall. Then the jump, let everything keep moving through. Uh, the hogs really aren't doing a whole lot. They're just kind of a sideshow. And I've been seeing that more and more at Town Hall 9 as the Valks are powerful and the big kill squads, especially with high-level heroes. We'll take a look at some low-level hero, hero action soon, but um, for high-level heroes, at least, they're very... Uh, the hogs are not quite the main uh, star of the show anymore. But comes in with that big group of hogs in the heal. For that Tesla farm, they're going to get it taken out pretty darn quickly. And uh, you can see everything converging here. That's how you want it to happen. Everything kind of finishing off that last area at once. And uh, awesome attack to Jon Snow. Way to get the three star. All right, we're just going to move down two bases and take a look at one more kind of high level Town Hall 9 attack. This is Jelly taking on seven and doing it with the Golem Avalanche. And like I've said before, you don't need four jumps, you can do it with three. See how many jumps the base needs and uh, brings a few hogs. Those are always nice touches, having a few defense targeting troops, just where you need them, where you can get good value for them, and brings that rage because he doesn't need all those jumps. So this is what I've been saying, very smart uh, planning. You know, see what you need for the base. There's not one set army comp. Uh, it's base specific. Look at the base, see what it's calling for. 
but comes in here with the wall breakers to let the um, initial wave of golems, I think just two golems initially, one from the CC, one of his own, plus the heroes. The king does get pretty low right here, but still has the ability which he's holding on to. Uh, the queen's getting the value of that rage, so good good value from that rage there. Uh, pops the ability for the king. He kind of goes on a little bit of a walk here, but uh, the golems are moving forward. Those nice hogs did a good job flanking. If you have those small compartments, no need to try to waste a jump getting in there. Just drop a few hogs, especially when the defenses are distracted, and you can take out those uh, outer compartments, and your golems don't have to worry about going that far out. So, worked out nicely there. Next jump coming in, uh, it works out great because the main group of the golems and his queen uh, take that jump as well as the new golem coming in. Uh, the queen is getting a little bit out in front and she's starting to go into that core. So she's taking the turn a little bit tighter than the rest of the troops. But the golems are still doing most of the tanking. Still has one golem left to deploy plus a jump spell. And he'll come in with that in just a moment. But you can see here the golems getting full use. And that's what you want. You want every last rock of those golems, every last pebble to be uh, tanked to be you know, broken up by those defenses. Because at Town Hall 9, if you bring five golems especially, that's so much HP, uh, HP that typically, if those golems are what's tanking and not your heroes, your wizards or something, you're gonna get the three star. There's just too much tanking, not enough damage going out of all those defenses. So you can see here, uh, still has quite a bit of tankage out in front. That one golem hasn't even busted. I think maybe even two of them, if I can see that correctly. But awesome attack to Jelly. Uh, the tanking works great. Just make sure the golems stay out in front and you'll be fine. Those wizards, the heroes, will do plenty of damage. Uh, but let's take a look at one more being number 23 here. Uh, we have Freestyler coming in on a very low level base, but his heroes are 10-15. So I wanted to show some lower level Town Hall 9 action. His troops are pretty much maxed out and that's what you're going to see mostly on the channel. I don't really have a... Well, I don't, there's not many people in uh, Genesis that have you know, level 4 hogs or level 2 golems, level 3 valks. Everything for the most part is maxed out. And I think that's good. Once your queen's level 10, just worry about maxing out your troops in my opinion. I think that's the smarter play because when you think about it, especially if it's like a hog or a valk, something that you use a lot, you know, your hero, you only have one of them. But if you have a higher level troop, you can be bringing 10, 15 of those. So it, when you multiply out the difference, it really helps to have the higher level troops. I think that heal was a mistake. He just did that by accident. Because uh, obviously you don't want to heal your queen. And in a queen walk, you want to use the rage on the healers and the queen. So uh, kind of does this with three spells almost. Because the heal really did nothing for his uh, queen besides heal, heal her up a little bit. But he had to use the rage anyway. Uh, pops the ability. Very smart there. That level 15 queen cannot handle the P.E.K.K.A. What you want to do though when you see that max level P.E.K.K.A. It does actually get a, a shot off on his queen which was unfortunate, but when you see that and you have a low level queen, drop the poison, drop it out in front, let the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, be in the poison for as long as possible. Then at the very last second, I mean, don't make it too close, but right when the P.E.K.K.A. is about to hit the queen, pop the ability, and uh, if you're lucky, he'll get on some of the, the archers, or I think the P.E.K.K.A. is a she, she'll get on some of the archers, and your queen, even after the ability is gone, will still have some time while the P.E.K.K.A. is on the archers. Just a little bit of luck there, but even the max P.E.K.K.A. can't one-shot the level 15 queen. So typically you have a little bit of room for error. Uh, you might have to use a rage to keep your queen up because she'll get pretty low. But that's how you deal with the max P.E.K.K.A. Anyway, though, kind of missed this attack. But came in with the Valks, the king. You guys saw it. Just this base from all angles. And at Town Hall 9, especially if you have low-level heroes, trust the troops. I mean, your heroes don't have to be the star of the show. But if you can sw swarm a base with you know, max hogs for Town Hall 9, max Valks for Town Hall 9, you know, level 4 or 5 is what I'm saying. They're very powerful. You can get the 3 star just by force almost if you come at it from different angles. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Uh, don't, you know, set yourself up to be hit by a double giant bomb spot because Town Hall 9 isn't quite as balanced as it should be. And uh, the 3 minutes did help, but if you come at this base from all different angles, it only has Town Hall 8 level point defense. You can take it out pretty easily. As long as you're smart and uh, you can settle for some small losses, but don't let you know your hogs all die at once. Just keep things spread out and keep you know investing in the powerful Valks and troops like that. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this war recap video. Uh, it was a 
fun war for the most part, even though it wasn't that close. And uh, I'll have some more coverage of our next war coming up soon, which should be a good one. Anyway, though, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.